That's <laughs> what it has on their site. You'll see as I drag my mouse over these things. Oh, so we don't have time to watch the whole cartoon, <laughs> okay? Very well done. Thank you, Jay. Okay. <laughs> White Knight. No. We're an electronic zine for the, you know, the hack freak community. People like us. We're an electronic zine for the hack freak community. People like us. There's a bit, there's a bit of indignation from this guy. Because I think he's like, oh, Stuart isn't giving us the credence we deserve. We're the cult of the fucking dead cow. And this guy's talking to us like we're just last week's old news. Thanks very much, Giles Bateman, the dead cow, and Samantha Hager. Thank you. Hackers, do you call yourself a hackers organization? I think we're primarily hackers that don't hack anymore. Um, we're an electronic zine for the, you know, the hack freak community. People like us. Wow. We're an electronic zine for the hack freak community. People like us. Crazy okay. days. Now, why don't you hack anymore? I think most of us have, have outgrown it to an extent. Um, we started very early. In the early 80s when it was really exciting. Um, new. But they haven't outgrown the fashion of the early 80s. It's still with the fresh. And these days it just isn't that way anymore. When you say outgrown, is that because you're older or like the world is different? I think the world is different. Um, it used to be that... I think the world... Thank you very much, Cyber Blast. I hope you're getting on well. The, the, I, he thinks the world is different. This is none other than Reed MFing Fleming. Reed Mother Fleming. Reed Mother Fleming. That one person on his own could exploit or discover features of computer systems um, that were still in development, things that were constantly renewing themselves. Now the, both of the computer technologies have settled down and also, you know, it, it's much more difficult to do something on an individual basis. So you talk about hackers and freaks. What do you mean by freaks? Well, freaks are generally people concerned with phone system. The oh, inner okay. working. Thank you very much to iMac there. I hope you're getting on well. iMac and surname of Weir. Thank you very much, Mr. Weir. And also a clone named Gibson. Phone system and the network that comprises that system. Uh, all right, now, so the hack, I mean, we still hear a lot about hackers. Your guy, you guys are saying, I mean, it's really not much fun anymore. Is hackers just like a social, cultural, rebellious thing these days? And not, you're not really a hacker, you just call yourself a hacker? I think it may be that way. Um, I'm sure Ooh. it's exciting. Poor camera movement there, but there was uh, poor communication. It's who's taking the lead. This guy wants to take the lead on the questions and the answers. For the kids that are up and coming. You just call yourself a social hacker? I think it may be that way. He didn't get a look and his friend did not get a look in there. You need to jump in with these egomaniacs who want to dominate the conversation. Don't let them dominate the conversation. I'm sure it's exciting for the kids that are up and coming now, but I don't think they feel nearly what we felt back in the early 80s when, when it was a whole new world out there. I mean, what did you feel back in the 80s a when you started hacking? What was, what was your a brand new place to do digital hacking. What was he excited it's an entire new world of, of, of electronics to explore, you know, and it's something that, it's a world that hadn't been explored by anyone. It was just wide open. Was it, was it power in a way for a kind of, you know, anxiety-ridden teenager to think, hey, I can break into this? Thing? Maybe so, but the rush of discovery is something that you really can't put into words. Today, though, I mean, there isn't much to discover anymore. You can subscribe to 2600 or blacklisted and get all the information you need. There's not much to find on your own. So it's just matured kind of too much to really make it make it difficult for you, I guess. It's not as satisfying. Not as satisfying, yeah. yeah. Let me talk about your website. I mean, the Cult of the Dead Cal CDC, which is a really interesting website. And the first thing I noticed, you go on there and you spend the first, like, eight pages bragging about your press clippings. I mean, is this like a big put-on? I mean, you guys just playing with everybody out there and they all think you're terrible guys, but you're just, like, <laughs> pulling everybody's chain? Well, uh, I think Did we are playing with there? people to an extent. But <laughs> if you dig past that? it, you find actual information. Look at the state of the fucking crack that they're being plying out there onto the Netscape. We are the mighty and the chosen. Ninja strike force. These are grown men. Don't forget that. Our power cannot be contained. Wow. They really convinced us with that. Brilliant uh, Windows 98, not even 98, Windows 95 paint application. Could you even do those shapes in paint? I'm not sure. Thank you very much. Toker, Toker Hantus and Darkened Shrine. Thank you very much. Information there. And on the other hand, you know, it's really not about the technical information. You know, we've been uh, promulgating files with fiction and other things, yeah. and that's really led to our longevity. 
look at the, the notes this lad in the background is taking. Them. Scribbling away, what's he writing? But I mean, most people log on to, to CDC. I mean, are they looking for, for hacker technical stuff or is it really just another easy? I'm really not sure what most people are looking for. I know a lot of people are looking for hacker stuff. Really? We get mail, you know, 50, 75 pieces of mail a day from kids who want to join. And Do you fuck? Or they want us to hack their 75 pieces of mail a day from kids who want to join and or they want us to hack their school computer system or whatever you know <laughs> so, <I> mean, <laughs> Stu's like uh should i laugh at that or should i mean is that okay these these people want to hack the schools of kids or what's the story it's still it's what? Stu's laughing they want us to hack their school computer system or whatever <laughs> watch a change from the realization that he's thinking and then it changes to serious. You know. that's, so, not, that's not funny. I mean, still, it's a lot of teenage boys basically coming into this and like, like doing their, their, their destructive, malicious kind of thing. I think it's a lot of them, and it's also an established fan base that we have. The oh. old school people that remember. A fan base? Remember us from back when they came up and have followed us. I don't think people were going around going, when I grew up, I want to be watching McCoy White Knight. Wow, White underscore Knight, man. He's fucking savage. He's fucking class, man. Established fan base that we have, the oh. old school people that have posters of fucking white underscore night on the wall, man. It's gonna be an amazing time to be alive when I become. Hi, this is Death Veggie, Minister. You're not a killer. No, I'm not. You're not a killer. No, I'm not. Propaganda for Cult of the Dead Cow Communications, bringing you our media global domination update for October 1996. We here at CDC are proud to announce that Operation Mad Cow, as initiated by our British commando geneticist team, is a complete success. There are more, now more dead cows in England than ever before. Our ah. plans are progressing well on schedule, and by this rate, we should be in full control of this measly little planet that you call Earth by the year 2003. Have a nice day. All right, let's be honest. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning he here. In the he got questions, and he don't care what you got to say. Thank you very much for the tip there, E-C-S-A-Q-T. Thank you very much for your kind-hearted and generous tip. I'm not even on the screen. Thank you very much for your kind-hearted and generous tip. The user's point of view between working in Explorer, working in Communicator. I wouldn't say they're significant. They're small differences that have more to do with how you prefer to work on the Internet. All right, let's talk about one at a time. I'm browsing the web. Not much. Not much different. I'm doing email. No, not much different. So what's different? Browsing <laughs> the web. Not much. Not much different. I'm doing email. No, not much different. Mm, no. And look at Stu. Stu doesn't like it when people give him this sort of short shrift. So look at the, uh, the attitude will change on Stu here. All right, what do you want to fucking tell me? So what's different? A bit of a fucking smile there, indignant. Indignant Stu. In, it's it's a, one of my favorite pieces of stew action I've ever seen. Have more to do with how you prefer to work on the internet? All right, let's talk about one at a time. I'm browsing the web. Not much. Not much different. I'm doing email. No, not much different. So what's different? Well, it comes down <laughs> to things like uh, the subscription and the channel uh -huh. capabilities and also in their conferencing capabilities. And what's the difference? Well, uh, Netscape... Uh, he still is like a dog with a bone. He's not going to let her off with this. She's tried to make a tit of him. And he's going to fucking make it to her. Conference does not uh, accept video cameras. Mm. Net meeting, however, if you want to want to see your grandkids the or Explorer see version. your things. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Explorer cool. version. Thank you very much. Not much different. And then you have right, to be so using that. That's a big that. plus for Explorer. Want to see your grandkids or see version. your things. Yeah. Yeah, that, then you have right, to be so using that. That's a big that. plus for Explorer if you want to do video. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any others? Uh, well, if you come down to the push, it All has right. more to do actually on the implementation on the server side. So it's really the server designer side in which it's different, not so much the end user? Well, what you have to make sure is that if there is a channel that you want, you mm -hmm. have to be using the browser that will allow you to see that channel. Uh, so it's still kind of complicated. Your grandkids, the shade, says Scumbelina, and look, he doesn't like that as well. Was that a bit of shade thrown at Stu? He didn't like the grandkids remark. Ah, uh, no. But this lady seemingly doesn't have the social mores that Stu has, or, or well, let's say Stu might not be a fucking uh, perfect example. I mean, his interviewing technique is in and of itself a way of interacting that is removed from basic societal norms. But herself there, he knows that he doesn't like her sales pitch. He's going to try and get blood from a stone. Doesn't work out for him. And 
he didn't like the little barbed remark. I'm not sure whether or not Stu's the type of person who will hang on to little remarks like that, but uh, it, it was noted in the chat, and, and now I'm thinking about it. Maybe he didn't like that. Different. I'm doing email. No, not much different. So what's different? Well, it's so different roles. Right, references would be different. How your screen looks would be different. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice feature, obviously. Yes. All right. Let yeah. Have a look here. Three. Three. Navigator three. Navigator three. Because, because it, it works fast. All right. So it depends on what you want to do. If you want to, if you want to browse this. and search and get information quickly, and you don't want all the multimedia junk. No. You would pick. You would pick now. And, and actually, I surf with images off. I just want to get in there, uh -huh. get my information, and get out. Yeah. Switch images off, guys. Faster browsing experience. Okay. So, would you say, bottom line, it really depends on how you want to use the Correct. web? What if you want to do the multimedia, have it all look, you know, fancy? Then maybe you need one of the the new ones, anyhow. So I just want to just want to get information. The, the grandkids. There, you're quite happy with Navigator. 3. Yes, I am. But the world is that with Win98 coming, and I. She's not giving him anything. There, you're quite happy with Navigator. 3. Yes, I am. But the world is that with Win98 coming and IE4, it's all going to be very tightly bundled, right? Yes, it's, it is. It's all going to be very tightly bundled, right? So, uh, you know, they plan to put the browser interface that you see onto Windows 98. Yeah. And so, you know, it would behoove you to get to be familiar, be familiar with, with it. it. Yeah. All right, thanks very much. Well, that it would be what of you? Be who of you, would it? Yeah. And so, you know, it would behoove you to get to be familiar, be familiar with, with it. it. Yeah. All right, thanks very much. It would behoove you. It would behoove you to get to know it. Is that what that means? Behove. Beho I've never even heard. Behoove. Fucking Shakespearean enough. All right. Behoove you, yeah? I don't like your behoove your lady. Thank you very much, Farfurda. A kind-hearted and generous tip has been dispatched from the lair of Farfurda towards the stream. Very kind. Very nice. Very much appreciated. Stu is about to tell this broad to talk to the hand. If she if she's going to keep everything so tight to the vest, that was my grandpa's nickname, the vest. Guy never told anyone. Ledge. Thanks very much. Well, that's our look at the browser wars. I'll be back in just a moment with my... Pick He's completely throwing Disc Tracy under the bus. The folks at Disc Tracy must have gone absolutely bushed after this. The business went under big time. Thank you very much there, Cull Man and Drag Queen Disc Tracy. Thank you very Look at much. All the naked girls he wants, just don't dump them onto your hard drive, stupid. I'm sure the people who And Diamond Vipers for Life who made this program were well intentioned, for as they say in their promotional materials, there are some problems with bad things on the net. But this program really proves the futility of trying to censor internet or hard drive content with the broad sweep of a keyword detective. It's called Disc Tracy from Watsoft Incorporated of Houston, Texas. Their website is disctracy.com. Maybe they should have kept the original name. But uh, then again, the product wouldn't have made it through its own filter. Oh! Fucking hell. Whew. That is a sick-ass burn from the stew baby chefe. He don't care what you gotta say. Dick Tracy got thrown under the bus like a mother <laughs> ass what <laughs> mother <laughs> ass That's it for this edition of the Computer Chronicles. Like, wouldn't have risk trade on the well and don't just hear that one more time for the thesis. The, the end, the conclusion of Disc Tracy. All it checks is what Johnny has downloaded. He can look at all the naked girls he wants. Just don't dump them onto your hard drives, stupid. Did you hear that? ...small hard drive. And of course it's useless because all it checks is what Johnny has downloaded. He can look at all the naked girls he wants. Just don't dump them onto your hard drive, stupid. Tonight on Dispatches at 9. You can look at all the naked chicks you want. Just don't dump them on your hard drive, Stu. Paired.